Hello, Namaskar, Vanakkam. Now, one of the biggest issues that students have faced in their ICSC class 10 pre-board examinations has to do with the time management factor in their mathematics examination. So, in this video, I am going to focus specifically on that aspect and also a couple of things that you should take care as part of your study and revision strategy. Point number one, please look at the ICSC specimen paper that has been put on the ICSC website in order to know the format you will realize that everything is a mix, right? Uh, so unlike say in a subject like geography where it comes chapter wise, here in mathematics you cannot afford to do selective or what I call percentage study. Everything from mensuration to trigonometry to probability to geometry is important. Students who have been asking me in YouTube comments whether they can do selective study, all I would say is do it at your own risk. Okay. Uh, point number two, the first 10 minutes of your mathematics examination are probably more important than the 10 minutes of any other examination that you are taking in ICSC class 10. In the first 10 minutes that you get, you need to quickly try and identify which of the three sections out of five you are likely to attempt in the sense that which combination of questions you are most comfortable with. Ye please us pehle 10 minute mein zaroor karna. Many of you will have the temptation to go and solve the MCQ questions. Wo to aap waise bhi jaldi kar lenge. Lekin jyada tar ho sakta hai ki agar aap galat set of questions ko identify kar lenge. Pehla solve kar dein, dousra solve kar dein. तीसरे में आके अटक जाएं या चौथे में आटे आके अटक जाएं और उस समय पर आपको लगा कि अरे ये क्वेश्चन नंबर फोर ये वाला ऑप्शन मेरे लिए ठीक रहता है ये सारे क्वेश्चंस के आंसर्स मुझे मालूम थे उस समय पर आप टाइम बर्बाद नहीं कर सकते हैं तो पहले से ही प्लीज आइडेंटिफाई विच थ्री सेट्स ऑफ क्वेश्चन फॉर टेन टेन एंड टेन मार्क्स ईच यू विल अटेम्प्ट दो टेन मिनट्स यू नीड टू स्पेंड इन आइडेंटिफाइंग दो थ्री सेक्शन ओके सो दैट इज अ वेरी यूजफुल टिप एज फार एज time management is concerned. So that has to be strategy number one. Identify, I repeat, the three sets of questions that you will do. One, two, three. Okay. Now let's look specifically at time management, micro time management. Your MCQ part is of 10 marks, right? 10 questions. Uh, start at 11 a.m. when you will be allowed to write thinking that you have an 80 minute race to run, not 90 minutes. 90 minute ka paper mind se nikal dije, 80 minute ka paper samaj ke aap shuru ki je, shubharam ki je. The 10 minutes that I am allotting at the end between 12.20 and 12.30 are your buffer time. Because ho sakta hai ki aapka 80 minute pe paper khatam na ho, you may not be able to finish it in the 80 minutes. So out of the 10 minutes, you can borrow a little bit of time, maybe 3 minutes, maybe 4 minutes, maybe 5 minutes. You can borrow, still be left with 5 minutes of revision time, but mentally Think of it like you have to finish the paper at 12.20. That has to be your target not at 12.29 or 12.30. Please remember this. Mentally get that into your mind. Okay. That's very important. What we will do in the last 5 minutes. We will talk the, about that later in this video. I will also do a, uh, another video on this. In which we will talk about the mistakes many of your seniors have made, many of you have made in your pre-board examinations, which you should look to avoid in this paper. That will be in another video. Okay. Now, out of the 80 minutes, allot 15 minutes for the MCQs. 11 to 11.15 tak MCQs ka khatam ho jana chahiye. You should be through with 10 marks in your pocket. Okay. Please remember, you don't need to show the steps. Just write the correct option so that here, if you have shortcuts, it will definitely help. You can do it fast. Okay, you don't need to show the steps. Now, in the remaining, kitne bache? 65 minutes. Out of 65 minutes, in 65 minutes, you need to do three questions. 65 divided by 3, which means you have between 21 and 22 minutes, roughly. Okay, so now you have to time yourself well. Now, how do you ensure you do this? Here, I come to the second aspect of my video, the study and revision strategy. In the next two days, that you have, even if you cannot sit and solve an entire 90 minute paper, if proper 40 marks ka paper be solved nahi kar paaye to, halaki that you should try to do at least on the 1st of May, but initially, say on 30th of April, do it in parts, take 10 MCQs and time yourself, in 15 minutes I need to do this 10 MCQs, do it 15 minutes, 
after about an hour or two hours do another set of 10 mcqs time yourself again 10, 15 minutes or maybe 14 and a half minutes whether you are able to do it or not okay please keep timing yourself so that the more you do it your speed and accuracy will improve as much similarly take 10 marks jumbled up questions from any pre-board paper of any school you will get it from different students, friends of yours take any 10 questions which you have not seen before look at the 10 minutes and time yourself at 21 minutes 21 minutes may merko ye khatam karna hai and take another one two minutes for revision uske baad but 21 minutes may irrespective of whether you're doing it or not 21 minutes may you need to finish it off 10 minute 10 uh, marks ka 21 minutes may karte rahiye keep doing it three four times in a day you keep timing yourself like that once you get better maybe on Sunday morning, you can look at combining two 20, uh, 10 marks, ka, 20 marks, ka, give yourself 45 minutes. It has to be against the time. Time stopper ko set karke shuru kijiye, nobody to disturb you like an examination atmosphere. What I'm saying is, you don't need to do the entire 90 minute drill or a 40 mark drill. You can break it up into pieces and time yourself for short sprints. And I'll tell you why this is important. I've reported a lot on sports. So I understand how sports work, which is why in my videos, I give a lot of examples from sports. Athletes and sports persons in general work on how to improve their stamina by doing these short sprints. Okay, uh, the 50 meter, 100 meter, 200 meter, 100 meter hurdle, 110 meter hurdles. They keep doing this so that their stamina improves when they do this short sprints. Everyone does not run a marathon. So short bursts of energy, whether you are able to focus for that 21 minutes straight without getting distracted, that's important. You tune your mind to be like that, not look here and there after every question. Kitna hua tera? Do question kar liye? Maine teen kar liye. No, that's not, that's not your focus at that point in time. Okay, so the more you get, do it, your body and mind work in sync and that will help you do a better mathematics paper. Okay, that's very important. You need to adopt the same approach of a sports person so that your mind, body, especially your fingers are working in tandem. They are working in sync with each other. Saturday and Sunday, 30th of April and 1st of May, this has to be your priority. It's an order. This has to be your priority in order to ensure two things, speed and accuracy. Speed and accuracy, these are going to be your mantras as far as your mathematics paper is concerned. I hope this video has been useful, breaking it down in terms of strategy and time management for you. Okay, thank you very much for watching.